Hey guys, so it's about 8.30 on this Monday, January 29th, 2024. Um, and I wanted to come on here because, you know, a couple of people commented on a video I did a couple of day, about a day or two ago when I asked the question, and this was the title of the video, of why people are defending Vince McMahon or why people are defending, you know, this guy. You know, and it just didn't make sense. You know, it just didn't make sense because... You know, a lot of people that have talked about this so far pretty much have said that there's no way you could defend this man. Now, I'll admit, some people might come out and say, well, the reason a lot of people feel like you can't defend this man, despite the fact that, you know, we don't have any, you know, real evidence and everything, you know, that he actually did all this, is because they don't like him, period, and especially what he, with what he did bookingly and creatively. And that might be motivation for not wanting to believe that, you know, you know, the fact that what this, that what some of this woman is making up is false. That might be, you know, motivation to believe that Vince is guilty of everything that he's being accused of. But, you know, the reason, but the reason I said what I did in the video is because when you look at everything that's come before, you go to the Young Turks a sports YouTube channel and the video, you know, the video, the upload they did on, on this and the clips and everything they used from the Larry King live interview from the Phil Donahue show to an interview they did with a woman. I mean, it's like all signs, you know, point to the fact that, you know, point to the fact that Vince has done this kind of stuff, has allowed this kind of stuff to happen. And he's never really been caught because he's always, because because every time he does end up in a situation to where he could be caught, he could, you know, have WWE tarnished, WWF tarnished, you know, and, you know, he, he'll always find a way out of it. Like, he'll always just, you know, settle it out of court. Like, okay, how much do you want here? Da, 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 you know. And most of the time, that's that will be a success for him. That will be a huge success for him. You know, not this time around. Because apparently... The agreement he made to keep this woman shut, you know, you know, shut, if you will, keep her quiet about what happened, you know, he neglected on. He basically, you know, went back on. And instead of paying her the three million, he only paid her a million. You know, so that's why she's doing this. You know, and that's understandable. Like, hey, if someone's going to regret or regret or whatever that word is, you know, basically, you know, uh, stop paying you, you know, what they agreed to pay you, then yeah, you have the right to pursue, you know, lawsuit against them. I'm not, I'm not denying that, you know, to get what's owed to you. I understand that. Um, but if it's part of an agreement and that person that agreed to pay you breaches that agreement, then you have a right to basically break it as well and say, okay, I'm going to come out and I'm going to say that I'm so-and-so that, you know, brought this up anonymously. And that's what this woman's done. You know, that's what this woman's done. Now, you know, I, I get... You know, like I said in my original video, I mean, I get we're in a, in, you know, in a day and age to where, you know, folks will, you know, uh, co you know, go out there, man or woman, you know, they will go out there and they will basically make up any kind of thing they want to make up just so they can get money from somebody. You know, they'll make up that this person did this to them or that person did that to them and, you know, that, that, that. And even if it's not true, you know, um, later on, you know, if we find out that later on it's not true, it's too late because it was already uh, either settled out of court or in court. It was pretty much put in the favor of the victim. And, you know, you find out later on that that what, that what this victim accused this person of was not true. And that all this really was was about getting money. You know, so I understand that. I get that. You know, I also understand that you need evidence. You need evidence, you know, to actually back up these claims, not just screenshots from phone texts that could be easily manipulated, you know, um, I'm assuming could easily be manipulated, you know, to, to the point that it makes it sound like it's so-and-so, but it's not. You know, I understand that you need more evidence than what's, than, than what's graphically, you know, acknowledged in a 67, 70 page legal document. But, but the fact is, when you, you know, look at, when you look at what he's done in the past, and you know, and you're looking at what's being described of what he's done recently, it just, 
it's it, it's just too much to overcome. It's just too much to overcome. It's like I said in the following video after the after the one um, that I'm doing this response video to. In a following video, I said basically, even if he takes this to court and wins maybe 25 to 30 percent of his case, the rest of that 75 to 70 percent of his case uh, against him, you know, is going to find him guilty. Like, you know, he'll be innocent of 25 to 30 percent of it, but then the rest will find him guilty, and that's going to be still too much to overcome. You know, that's still going to be too much to overcome. And, you know, there's, there's no denying that. There's no denying that. You know, but, you know, I, I do understand, like I said, I do understand, and maybe I worded and spoke it wrong in that last video, and I do apologize, but I do understand when people say you need evidence, you know, uh, to prove this actually happened, because if you can't supply said evidence outside of what's being uh, mentioned in a document and, you know, shown through screen text, you know, screenshots of texts and everything, if you can't, you know, prove that this woman you know, got, you know, defecated on. If you can't prove that this woman sent a video of herself relieving herself for the amusement of a former UFC heavyweight champion, current WWE star that they were trying to resign, you know, if you can't supply any of that, or even eyewitness accounts to that, maybe the person that was in that threesome, then, you know, to a lot of people, you know, what you're doing is just making up and fabricating you know, events that didn't happen and all you're doing it is for, all you're doing it is, you know, for money. That's all you're doing it for. And that all you need to do, basically, if that's the case, is just come out and say, hey, I'm taking Vince to court because he's, you know, neglecting on payments. You know, he's gone back on his agreement, so, you know, I'm going to take him to court to get what I'm owed. And, you know, and, and that should be about it. Yeah, you can put it, put it out there that he did certain things to you, but... He pays you to keep it quiet, you know, uh, to an extent, you know, when it came to, you know, paying you off. But, you know, people will look at the fact that, well, she went into graphic detail. She didn't have to do all this. And that's what people will be like, you know, did she, you know, is this true? You know, is this true that he did all this kind of stuff? And, you know, and, you know, he's a lot worse and he's a lot worse in the head than we thought and than we, you know, ever could believe, you know. It's, it's just one of those situations to where it's like, you know, again, you understand where people that are defending him are coming from when they say, hey, look, he's innocent till proven guilty, but only until the evidence comes out oh, that, you know, he did this stuff. Because a lot of people like these two people that commented, you know, they're not, you know, they're not saying that Vince is an angel or a saint, you know, they're not and they're not defending the fact that, you know, he didn't do anything. They're just saying, look. You know, where's the proof? Just show the proof or give us some kind of indication that this happened. And hey, we're on your side. That's pretty much it. So I get what they're saying. But when you think about how Vince came back to the company, you know, when he first resigned and so on and so forth. And then again, along with everything else that's been mentioned, it's like you can't really, you know, you can't really, you know, just sit there and say, look, he's innocent until proven guilty until we get evidence that he actually did this. And now put all those pieces of the puzzle together and be like, yeah, you know, this guy might be guilty, you know, of what he did, but we can't really say he is until we see some kind of visual or actual proof. But I just wanted to do this video response, guys, and until next time, 